फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन बॉडी मूवमेंट्स पार्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाई एग्जाम फ्योर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फ्योर फ्रॉम एग्जाम विथ दिस वी हैव रीच टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ दिस लेसन लेट इज क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स जॉइंट्स ऑफ द बोन्स हेल्प इन द डैश ऑफ द बॉडी सो ओनली एट द जॉइंट्स वी आर एबल टू मूव सो जॉइंट्स हेल्प इन मूवमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोन्स एंड कार्टिलेज फॉर्म्स द डैश ऑफ द बॉडी सो वॉट बोन्स एंड कार्टिलेज आर पार्ट ऑफ वॉट of our body it is a part of the skeletal system so bones and cartilage together forms the skeleton of the body bones at the elbow are joined by a dash joint so just think of the type of movements that you can do with your elbow you can just move it back and forth so back and forth movement happens in hinge joint the contraction of the dash pulls the bones during movement now bones movements are controlled by the muscles so whenever a muscle contracts it pulls a bone question number 2 indicate true and false for the following movement and locomotion of all animals is exactly the same false now as you saw snakes slither human beings can run jump walk birds can fly fishes can swim so different organisms have different types of movements and they have specialized organs for those movements cartilages are harder than bones that is again false because bones are non flexible and hard cartilages are comparatively flexible elastic and softer finger bones do not have joints that is also false Now, since finger bones have joints that is why we are able to move our move or bend our fingers the forearm has two bones this is true so when you look at the forearm the two bones are radius and ulna we had discussed some time back right cockroaches have an outer skeleton that is also true which i which we were talking as uh, exoskeleton so that's the outer skeleton of the cockroach question number 3 match column 1 with column 2 upper jaw so upper jaw is an immovable joint because you we cannot move our upper jaw fish fish have fins on their body and these fins help them to maintain the balance while they swim in water now another fact which is true about fishes is that they have a streamlined body so their body shapes with tapered ends is such that it offers minimum resistance to the flow of water ribs so ribs protect the heart so ribs are nothing but bony structures which form a cage like structure that protects the organs which is present within them snail shows very slow movement now we already saw that how snails move they do not have they just have a muscular foot which uh, gradually moves on the ground with the contraction of the muscles so they show very slow movement cockroach they have an outer skeleton yes that is the exoskeleton they can also fly in the air so both are true for cockroaches question number 4 answer the following what is a ball and socket joint so ball and socket joint is a type of joint where two bones are joined such that one bone has a ball shaped surface on one end and this fits into a socket that is a cup like depression of another bone something and it allows movement in all directions so it is something like this let's say you have one bone which has a ball like rounded end on one side and this will fit into another bone which has a socket like depression or a cup like depression so both of these which will fit, fit into each other and this is called a ball and socket joint this type of joint allows movement in all directions which of the skull bones are movable so the only skull bone that is movable are the lower jaw bones other than that all of them have fixed joints why can our elbow not move backwards because elbow has hinge joint and hinge joint allows movements only back and forth so your elbow can only move like this and like this so basically it can just move from from this angle to this angle 
but it cannot move 90, I mean 360 degrees. So complete rotation is not possible with elbows. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on movements of our body would have helped you. So just try to observe the various movements in your body and also try to observe movements in organisms around you and I hope that this lesson would have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.